Sometimes puzzles are just too beautiful to disassemble once you've completed them. So today we're going to take a look at gluing the puzzles so that you can admire those works of art. Hi puzzling friends, it's Sandra from The Puzzling Canadian and today I'm going to show you how I glue my puzzles. Um, if you took a look at one of my videos about uh, Star Wars puzzles I did about a week ago, I was working on a puzzle and I was going to, when I finish, glue it because I was going to uh, frame it and add it to my Star Wars wall. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll provide the link and you can go back and take a look at how I have a wall that's dedicated to Star Wars puzzles. So I completed this puzzle last week and now I'm going to glue it. So I'm going to show you uh, what I do uh, to glue the, the puzzle. So I know that there's different products out there, but this is what I like and what works for me. So I know uh, some people do it a little bit differently, um, but you can take a look at this video uh, of me gluing the puzzle. And then after I will give you some tips on uh, what you need to do. So, so the things you will need or the product that I am using is Mod Podge Puzzle Saver. That's the product that I use and it's a liquid base. And then in order to spread it, I just get an old gift card that allows me to scoop through it. I know some people use, I've seen them use like a paintbrush, but I, I don't like doing that because I worry that sometimes the paintbrush will have like uh, little pieces come out and I don't want that glued on my puzzle. So I prefer this, but I've seen people do it either way. So let's take a look at that video and then I'll get back to you with some tips that I have. Uh, that was me gluing my, gluing my puzzle and as you can see the first thing that I do before I spread it is I get wax paper and I put it the length of the puzzle so that there's wax paper all around the edge so I create wax paper and I slide it underneath the puzzle this way if there's glue that comes off it's not going on to my puzzle board so that's the first thing I do I, I get some wax paper tape it a piece together two pieces together and then I slide it underneath the puzzle. So now it's ready. Um, and then I sit there and you, you probably took a look. I did small sections at a time. So I do small sections at a time and then I spread it very nicely because I don't want any globs of the puzzle. I want it to look very smooth. Um, so I do that with that card. That's how I spread it. Like there's different things that you can use, but I just use this because it's nice and even. And if you take a look, 
you would have seen that it's wet. So when you put it on there, it'll be white and it'll be wet, but it does um, start drying fairly quickly. I don't know how many hours. Um, I think what I did is I left it there for like a couple hours, like maybe two, three hours, but really after maybe half an hour, the white was already now clear. So you could take a look at that. So that's what I do. And then I, I do it one time on the top, then I wait till it dries. And then as you can see, I flipped it over and I did the back of the puzzle the same way. Um, I spread it like that. Now, what I usually do for these Star Wars puzzles, because I am taking them to an external place, I'm taking it to Michael's to get them framed, I glue it three times. I know it could be overkill, but I do once in the front, flip it over once in the back, and then I flip it back to the back over so I can have the top and then spread some more. So I do two layers on the picture and one layer on the back. I know it's overkill, some people just do one, but I'm concerned that this is being handled with different people and I don't want it to um, fall apart in that process. So I'm very comfortable with that. I know that other people use different products, but that's what I do. And you know, the product, this product, when you open it up, it can be a little smelly. So you might want to open a window, but the smell only lingers for maybe about an hour. And then if you have the window open, it goes away, but it does have a little smell to it but the smell is gone once the paint is dry. I think it's just when you open the bottle, it has that smell. Um, and then it's, it's all done and I'll show you how it looks. So there's the puzzle, as you can see, and look at that, see, very sturdy, very sturdy here on both sides. And I make sure I spread it really good as you saw in the video. And I kind of looked at from this angle to make sure there was any globs, or some lint that fell on there because I didn't want that on there. So um, that's the finished product. And then what I do is I, I lay it flat. It's very important to lay it flat. If you lay it, lay it against, and this has happened to me before, against the wall and then um, take it later, it starts to curl. I think the heat of the house or so, I've had puzzles that have that's happened to. So I lay it flat, I put it in a plastic bag and just keep it there until about July, until I see a sale at Michael's to frame, because framing can be very expensive. So I just wait for a sale um, and I store them flat. So that's what I do for this framing. But sometimes, as you can see, these ones here, I didn't frame. So they were just so beautiful, these puzzles, right, that I had, these are hay puzzles, and I, I just wanted to keep them. So I glued them the same way, but in this case, I have one here that I haven't put on the wall. This one here, I did recently also. I put a backing on it here and that's so that I could put like some like those 3M tags that pull and I put them on the wall so that if I want to change the puzzle I can do that without damaging the wall and I put this on again so that the puzzle doesn't curl now this one here I actually fixed today because this was this was leaning up on a shelf and the pieces started to curl a little bit so today I put, added some more glue and I put something heavy on it so that it wouldn't curl. Um, but that's what I do with uh, these ones here. And this one I just use so I can rotate, I could put it on a, a wall like I did in this case. So that's how I glue a puzzle. Um, if you have any further questions about gluing a puzzle, you can leave that in the comment section. Also, if you're using different products, if you've glued a puzzle, I'd love to know if you have glued a puzzle and if you've used different products, that would be um, nice to know also, because it's always good to learn about the different products that are out there and if they work. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already done so, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for coming by and taking a look at this video. And until next time, happy puzzling.